A piece of land which the Nina Police Department once used as a gun range will soon be a public park. The site's off County Highway Double J in Clayton, and Fox 11's Eric Peterson found out today what absolutely must be removed from the ground before plans can proceed. For the past five decades, officers from the Nina Police Department have honed their skills at this pistol range on the edge of town. John and Inez Nofke own the land, but let the police practice for free. But the Nofkes passed away years ago, and according to their wishes, the land would be donated to the town of Clayton to become a park. When the town electors authorized the board to accept the property as a park, one of the requirements that they put on it is that the lead from the gun range be removed. Fifty years of shooting have left their mark. The city of Nina has agreed to remove the lead bullets from this berm. Initial costs are around $75,000. There's companies out there that take the lead out and then actually pay the city for doing that and we're trying to work with one of those companies and hopefully if we uh, get a good deal maybe the, the cleanup will pay for itself or the city can actually make a little profit on this. Town officials say this site will be what they call a passive park. It's not going to be fully developed or not developed with uh, playground equipment and those types of activities for the time being. Uh, the most that we might have at some point is a, a parking area off of JJ. The police will have to find a new shooting range, but officers say they're grateful for the years they had right here. 50 years, they never charged us anything. Um, it was just really a, a very generous deal the family did for the city. And people in the area will soon have a new park. It will add to the, to the quality of life, to, the, to the, the ability and the resources that are available to the residents in the area. In the town of Clayton, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Now, the city of Nina has asked for more time to try to figure out a plan to get the lead out. Officials in the town, however, say they need the land cleaned up by May of 2014.